So we're currently at war with uh, two different factions, the Sarmatians, yeah, Sarmatia, and then the Helheim, which have a bunch of glamour troops, which is very annoying to deal with. I hate them, I hate them, I hate them very much. And I think we're ready to move on to another turn. I was gathering up our sacred troops over here to go and take these other provinces that we still don't have. Uh, meanwhile, on the front, our pans are kind of holding the line. Where are our pans? There they are. They're over here with our god Oberon. They're kind of holding the line against Sarmatia for now. We'll see how long that lasts. And then we got Boomjaw over here also holding the line. Um, so yeah, it's... It's a, it's, a, it's a tough game so far. I want to take a couple thrones, but I also can't really do it right now. So, yeah. I may actually have to just send this group forward. I think I, I, think I need them forward, now that, now that I think about it. So we're going to do that. We're going to send them forward. We need to give reinforcements to our front line. And then we'll, 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 try, we'll try our best to take these other provinces to our um, left. But, yeah. Tough game. Who's not doing anything? Uh, you can hold there for a while. Those three, I think, are just going to defend. I guess at the very least, we could research or um, search for magic sites. Pelias. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. How about a caster god? Uh, we don't really have a caster god right now. Everyone chose uh, the one that we have right now. Oh, shit. Sarmatia's so trying to assassinate us? They have ethereal assassins? What? The hell? Oh boy. They have ethereal assassins. Well. You got a hit in. You made them have battle fright at the very least, I guess. Man, I thought the Machaka assassins were crazy. Sarmatia gets ethereal, just out of- man. Undefended province has been taken. There's gonna be a lot of province exchanging in this game. I didn't have you cast Eagle Eyes, I had you cast the Tunes. Gosh darn it. Can you make an Assassin God? There are so many gods I have not played Mad Monty. I would not be surprised if there was a god that had Assassin as a trait. I don't know offhand if there is. But yeah, I would not be surprised. Not be surprised. Okay, we're being attacked again here, mostly by long deads. We do have some priests. And we were able to withstand an attack here before. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, 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 boy. Let's get our casters up. So they can hopefully... Cast these tunes. Actually, hold on. We'll do attack one turn, so they move up, and I want you fatiguing the front line. Attack one turn, oops, and then we want, oh, you don't have nature, okay, uh, well, then I, never mind, you just cast spells. You... Personal regeneration. 
Are, are you sacred? Are you a sacred? Yeah. Uh, yes, you are. Okay, so we don't need bark skin because we have that as part of our say, uh, bless. So regeneration. Mm. Maybe try a couple tunes of growth and then just cast spells. Can you try that? Okay. Pelias, we're gonna move. Uh, you have a bunch of minotaurs on you, so you're gonna move up here into the Helheim part of this hellscape we are in. Uh, oh my goodness. The person they assassinated was the one that was moving our army. Because of course it was. Because of course it was. Actually, hold on. I'm uh, starting to recruit some satyr sneaks to try and get past the front line, but we do not want them in this army. Alright. We have other tasks for them to do. So we held the line here. They took that over. Our pan's now over here. They were supposed to get reinforcements from the north, but that never happened. Gosh darn it. <sighs> so let's recruit some more people. We're going to try and recruit some kind of heavy duty soldiers here. Which one is better? Let's see. So the female centaur, 17 defensive skill, 9 protection. The male centaur has a less defensive skill. They come with javelins, which I think is okay. That's, that's, that's fine. So let's recruit some centaurs. To support this front line. Um, Boomjohn crew... You do not have many soldiers left, but I still believe in you. But at the same time, I don't want to give up this position. So I think we're just going to hold it. They may try and take that, though. Let's move up the pans. Pan army roll out. I don't know if that's enough, though. I, uh, I don't know if that's enough, now that I think about it. Here. This army may try to move up into here. Maybe. We'll see. So we're just going to let them see just there. We're going to need... Oh, we have a unit over there to take some reinforcements up to the front line. <sighs> okay. Um, and then this Minotaur is going to go over here to... Oh, I was going to move them over here to get more Minotaurs, but I don't have the money to actually make them yet. It's a tough, tough world we live in. The AI is obviously super advanced, is it? Uh, what up, Mopro? Welcome. Alright, what have we got here? Research and Conjuration is complete. Remnants of the Dead Prophet's power has left this world, so now we can have a new Prophet, which is going to be the duo, the Seder and the uh, Centaur. And they are coming after Boomjaw again. But now we got province defense here, suckers. Mm. Nice. Heavy cab running across the field. Damn, claim life. So this is a priest. Level. Oh, it's a priest because. Okay, so you're the. Oh man, the prophet is here. Kill that prophet. Boomjaw, kill that prophet. There we go. Prophet is dead. Very good. You are holding the line. Now let's see if we can hold off Helheim. Jesus.
Oh no. Our dryad is actually in melee. Shit. Come on, Tune of Fear. The morale is at 8. They should hopefully break her soon. Tune of Dancing Death. So the Tune of Dan Dancing Death is just around her. So that should be increasing the fatigue of everyone around her. Come on, come on, come on. Route, you suckers. Alright, I think the cat may be routing. Well, they're, they're turning around. Alright, yes. So the Cav Squad has broken. But that's the only squad that's broken so far. And now we gotta fight Glamoured Infantry this time. Our archers. Come on. Shit, our dryad died. Oh no, she's running. Come on, come on. Keep casting those final rests. Come on, Centaur Archers! And crazy ladies who just like blood now for some reason. Oh shit. The pan's leaving. Wait, armies of hell, I'm routed! Oh shit, we did it, I think! Holy crap. Oh. Okay. So our duo held the line, the last leader to stay. close. That was almost as close as you can get. So we killed 82 people. We lost 79. Centaur's got 30 kills. So they actually did work and these are the archers. Like they're not even the warrior version. What? The pan died? What because they retreated but they but we what? wait what? How did that happen? Uh, thank you for the host. Are you kidding me? They died? What in the... F Frosty the snowman? What? Well, that doesn't seem right. Alright, well, we're gonna need re reinforcements over there. Let's stop these sneaks for right now. Also, they are they, they do cause unrest, though. Um, and so now they're just kind of sitting in here, I think, causing unrest a little bit. Which is not great.
All right, at least we got 29 crazy people. Actually, if we split them up, though... Hold on. This way... Oh, shoot. This way, we don't really have to hold... Oh, wait, but I was holding and attacking because of the um, flyers, wasn't I? Well, so let's, let's split them off into two. Hold and attack rearmost, and then you want to hold and attack closest. And he's undisciplined. Okay. So you're going to go back up, collect some soldiers. Shoot. Go up. Ah, uh, boy. Oh, jeez. Become the prophets. And let us recruit. Some Minotaur. Well, actually, for province for holding a gate, Minotaurs are gonna trample out into the uh out into the open though. The problem with the Seder Warriors is that they cost so many recruitment points. Like, they cost more than a Centaur. So I think maybe we just focus on the Centaurs to hold the front gates. Because they do not trample. And I would like to get this sneaking crew being led by one of our Dryads and get them back into here and start taking the back line of Saramacia. Oh god. They have so many soldiers. They have so many soldiers. You know, I think we just attack into them then. It's a lot of cav, but we have a lot of cav as well. Just try and wipe them out real quick. Let's see, Conjuration level 4. Does that give us anything that I want? We can awaken Vine Ogres. Okay. And summon these lions? Maybe? What up, Dewa? So I guess we want that? Uh, besides that, though, let's see. What else do we want? Hmm. Hmm. Panic. We can also get Haru specs out of here. Yeah, you know, let's do that. Get some Thaumaturgy. And I kind of just need leaders, too. Now that I think about it. We've kind of run out of a lot of them. Um, let's send you back. And getting some more soldiers, I think. Or actually, maybe send you up here to support them. <sighs> you want to summon lions? Yeah, I want to summon lions too. Uh, yes, this is Early Age Pangea. You can't get enough of this game at the moment, uh, Miss Katonic. I can't either. That's <laughs> why I've been streaming it like every day. Oh, what up, Sheridan? I miss you coming in. What up, Karak? Missed you as well. Sorry. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Now they're going after our sages. Son of a... Uh, the Late Age Alm Game is going to be a YouTube series. Go get him! 
All right, so the army that we went after to attack there is no longer there. And Illidar has been breached again. And now they're coming in from this way too. Jesus. See if you can take that. We have this army sneaking in, so I guess they can get in there stealthily. We can summon animals. They could be like fodder units, I guess. But yeah, now they're kidding our, our researchers. Ah! Gotta start it! Um, let me recruit some more sneaks. This turn. And then we'll send this dryad to their back lines and see what we can do. Yeah, so now they're going to be coming in through here. Oh my god. Let's see, the army is about 10 units large. They consist mainly of shades and heavy infantries. Shades and heavy infantries. Hmm. So I think this should be good. In fact, we can probably just break out, really. Eh, we'll give it another turn. Because this force should be able to sneak in, right? It says sneak. So I'm assuming they can sneak past the enemy. God, I hope they can. Um, okay, so we need to send somebody back. I just need more people. Recruit another one. I don't need to worry about that. They are sieging our castle here. Ah. You know, let's just make sure that we win this. We'll send both armies over there to cr crush their attack. Hey, what up, Lorem? Welcome. What up, Costas? Welcome. We still need to build a bunch of temples everywhere. I'm not feeling super great about our chances. Oh, um, let's move our scout. Let's go see what Helheim is doing. We'll get our sneaking army out here soon. God. Wait, five commanders doing nothing? Hold on. That's fine. That's fine. Actually, no, that's not fine. At the very least, research. Um, you research. Okay. You research as well. Oh wait, actually, no, 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 no. What can you summon? You can summon crocodiles. Uh, uh, horned serpents, come to my aid. Pangea calls upon you. The beacons of Pangea are lit. What a banjo seal. What kind of god do we have? We have a, I believe what is called a titan. Black pearls has been conquered.
Did we get a blessing? Yeah, we have blessings. Oh yeah, because our god is here. Aren't you automatically blessed if you're with your god? Yeah, you better run! Ooh, those poor defenseless people. I really do like our Bless, though, because our Sacred Troops are naturally Berserking, and then the Bless gives them Blood Surge on top of that, and it's just, it, it really fits. I like things that fit. And the Horn Serpents will respond. <laughs> a little Horn Serpent busted into a, a hall of the Horn Serpents, and it was like... Because, you know, it's, it's a serpent, so it doesn't actually use human speech. Uh, but it's basically quoting Aragon, <clears throat> but in, in snake tongue. Is my god a giant elk? I mean, it's like a minotaur-ish type of person. Oh, look at the animals! I was thinking small animals, man. We got we got birds. We got we got Canada's here. Uh, that's pretty cool that Canada responded. I think Dewa's down there somewhere. I hear he's like Canada's mascot. Tokshin always the great A plot. Thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, hold them. I see the Minotaurs though, I think maybe a bad call here. Because they're just going to trample into terrible situations. Whoa, the Valkyries! I forgot about the Valkyries. Alright, Tune of Growth. That's cool. That means their defensive skill is now down. Wow, those Claymen actually did a lot of work there. Oh man, our bears are almost dead. Damn it. No, the animals are routing. awkward. The prophet holds. God, the fights here have been insane. What a bloodhorn. one defiant commander out there and we have our commander in here and then five centaur archers trying to kill a person who has glamour on oh, I'm sorry what was that doom strive we need lots of fodder to win what what do we do we mother we got bears and moose Although I guess we technically haven't won yet. Can none of these arrows actually hit you? Oh, you have air shield. Well, what the hell's gonna happen here? Our centaurs can't hit it! I 
I think eventually there is a hard, like, end. The turns do end, and I think it favors the defenders, if neither side routes. The archers that are standard with the fort itself have unlimited ammo. The ones that start on the walls. Um... Ah! Ah! And the Prophet Duo holds the line. Hell yeah. What up, Halo? What race did you play in your next Dominion 5 game? Aramor. Because Aramor is awesome. Our scout died. The entrance to the fortification of Ildar has been breached. Oh, has it? I didn't notice. There are Lion Tribe Archers and Heavy Infantries here. Oh my god. Well, at least we snuck in the reinforcements though, huh? Yay! Okay, um... Well, that was, that was a fight. That was definitely a fight. Holy crap. Okay. Trying to think how we want to split this up. Or if we even want to. I think we try and kill this big force. Like, that's their next big one. Oh, crap! Rus! The Ru Rush Russians are here. I wonder if Helheim is just going to be taken in from the back because they've been trying to kill me. I wonder. Alright, let's see. We need to... Actually, just keep recruiting these. From there. And now we got our sneak army done. The problem with the state of warriors, though, is that they just... They're good, but they just talk, take so much recruitment points. Um, and the revelers... How about we just recruit these ones? These don't cause, cause unrest. But this army will. So, Uvini is going to be sneaking and hopefully taking provinces left and right. That's the plan. And then this army... I think we're just going to make into a big, big army. Yeah, probably. Okay. And then Boomjaw can lead the what Minotaurs we have. Which is not many, but it's something. I think I may actually send Peleus back for more reinforcements. Then Oberon and the Pan Gang of Boomjaw will move up here. And try and fight the Sarmatian army. Ah, oh, what up, Orion? You had a Christmas party yesterday for work? And you were dead afterwards, so you slept in. Hey, I understand. Party hard, man. Party hard. What is my race? Early age Pangea. A bunch of satyrs, minotaurs, and uh, centaurs. Try to think if there's anything I missed. Um, we're just going to hold this person here, get some more of our blessed units, and I think we're done with the turn, I think. We'll hold off here as well. 
Don't hide. Um, research. And let's cast more animals. That was pretty cool. Let's make that a monthly ritual. We're going to get a whole bunch of animals here. They assisted a lot. What up, Ginger Wolf? Oh yeah, right. And pans, dryads, and harpies. You racist man. <laughs> I did. I didn't listen. I didn't mean to forget them. We are under siege in Illidar, and we're also starving in Illidar. Also, we have apparently a harpy queen. This ancient harpy has grown older and wiser than all other harpies, reputed to be the oldest living in all Pangea. She's the queen of all harpies. She is a competent commander and skilled caster. Yes, she is. Level two air mage. A level two air mage, eh? So what I want, what I really, really want is, I think I want, I, we'll rename her though. Uh, let's see, Ginger Wolfie. You're now a Harpy Queen. Um, so since you summon people in your dominion automatically, I think we're just going to have you try and find magic sites, but I need the, uh, was it Auspex? Oops. Do we have Auspex? Which one is that? Level 4 Thaumaturgy. Ugh. That's gonna be a while. Okay, so until we get that, let's fly you around and search for magical sites the hard way. Keep recruiting the satyrs. Now we will take these up to the front. Look at all these burrs. Just all, look at all these animals. I love it. Um, yeah, and some more bears. They may be heading up to our capital. The other armies pulled back. It looks like. Let's send you down. Send the sneakers over here. Grab those. Um, you know what? We may wait a little bit longer, too. I'm going to need... Ah, oh, we can still recruit one more. Alright, so let's try and do that. How much are you? 55 gold. Gosh darn it. Okay. Cancel one more. Build one more here. We definitely want to keep pumping out our sacred troops. They're the ones that are going to hold us, hold us here. Um, hey, what a Flint. How's it going? Eld, she heard you talking shit about the family. Hey, talk. I want to really, really, really want a zig a zig ah. Yep. Yep. Shit. Yep. If you want my future. Oh shit! It's been so long. If you want my future, forget my past. If you want to get with me, better make it last. Something like that. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to do. I kind of just need more commanders still, though. So hold on. I would like another pan, if possible. But I also want to start getting this Dryad Mother because she can start summoning some Ivy stuff. But that is so expensive. Are we are we ever going to be able to afford you? I guess we can if we cut down recruitment, but god, that's kind of scary. Like, even now, I, I still can't get you. I guess we can now. Okay. Let's try and recruit one of these. Okay. Hello, Flint. How are you doing? Dun, dun. Battle in Black Peaks. Again, I think this front especially is going to be back and forth a lot. Oh, is that their god? That has to be their god. That's their god. Oh, shit. A population killer has blood vengeance. Level 8 blood caster. Um, I was not expecting to see you here. So it's God against God. Oh, man. 
so this pack of sacreds are going in the back to try and basically kill it, I guess. Oh shit! It came up to- Okay, surrounded! Surrounded! You got a little too over eager there, buddy! I know you're a god, but we- Yes! Whoa! Take that, you piece of shit! Oberon said, yeah, so what? I'm not wearing any clothes. I don't need him to fight you. Charge across that field. Let it- Let it swing for- Alright, anyway. We just killed their god. Because try to fuck with Oberon, the pans, and the sacred calf. It may have actually killed a pan, though. I, I think it killed a pan, because we had two others. Should we expect any upcoming multiplayer games? Um, well, I've been playing PUBG and Monster Hunter, which are multiplayer. Or do you mean multiplayer games for this game? For Dominions? No. If that's what you're asking. <sighs> okay, we just killed a god, but yeah, we lost a pan. I guess that's a good exchange. <gasps> you killed our god! I don't like multiplayer in Dominions. For the most part. Stop those wolves! Hmm... We may have killed their god, but I think we may lose this fight. Our militia up there is trying to kill armored lizard cab, and that's not gonna work. Uh, I don't know if you actually survived the run-in, Karak. Again, one of the pans died. Yeah, we lost that. Right! The lack of supplies. Gosh darn it. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we really need to break out of here. Um, yeah. Break that siege. Like, the supplies have to be low because we're being sieged, right? Because we have growth 3 here, and we're in a forest. Alright, so they pushed into there. Gosh darn it. So yeah, oh, Karak did live. Um, so... <gasps> it was Rhea. Rhea died. Attack her in province. Shoot. And this army is not gonna be there when we get back. Oh, man, they may just go to... Mm. Let's move... Where would you... Let's move here. Hopefully they attack the castle. And then we can kill them. Search for magical sites. Hey, look at that little harpy army starting up here. How much can you lead? Only 40? Okay. Still, free troops is free troops. We're gonna move you in as well. We're gonna place some centaurs in the back. Just cast spells. Um, in case they have any of their Valkyries. 
Was Oberon even armed? I mean, armed with awesomeness. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, anything else? Sacred troops. Right. Get those recruited. Repeat. We should now have... Yes, we do. Oh, wow. Level 3 water, too. Hmm. Really? That's pretty cool. You know what? Let's recruit another one. So they can recruit a, a lot of vine men. Uh, but I don't think I have the items... Do I have it yet? Oh, we do. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We... Hmm. We already have Ivy Lord. Does Ivy Crown stack with Ivy Lord? Well, you know, let's find out. Let's do that. Also, in case a assassin comes to you, their assassin is assassin level 3, and we don't have any bodyguards. So even if we assign bodyguards to you, I don't think it would matter. I think they would ignore the centaurs anyway. So for spells, in case sh goes down, act this is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. We're going to give you some gems, okay? You're going to cast a water elemental to tank for you. And then... Hmm... And we need something that will kill... An ethereal. Cold bolt? If they survive cold bolt, cast bark skin. Actually, no, if they, if they survive um, that, then bless yourself. And then try Sleep Ray. And that's if they get attacked by an assassin. How many hours in this game? Uh, we are two, two-ish hours into the game. Will this be on YouTube? Yes, but it will be a while. Okay. Do we want to wait a little bit longer before we move out? We have 21. Nah, that's a lot. Let's move you out. Let's get you to the front lines. Actually, let's move you this way. Support the fight against Helheim. The problem is we're not really making too much ground right now, but maybe our sneaky army here will be soon. Let's go see how far Russ owns, like how much if they're back down here as well. Okay, I think we're good. Wait, I, I wanted to break. Break Siege. Whew, good thing I checked this place. Break Siege, because our Minotaur's coming in. Alright. The Centaur Hierophant. What are you doing? You're hiding? Well, at least research. And recruit some more basic units. Alright. Oh, I have more than 50 hours in Dominion's 5 already to walk. I have, I have much more than 50 hours in I, uh, I'm just totally in love with this game. It reminds me of when I uh, discovered Dominions 3 for the first time. Because I had no idea what Dominions was, and then I randomly came across a video on the YouTubes years ago. And I was like, what the hell is this? What? You could be so many races? What is this? This is Christmas! And, um, yeah. So the Centaur Warriors should go kill the Selheim Cav. Beautiful. Run, animals! Kill them! Maul their faces off! Get blood surged! What are you up to now? Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Oh, the stats are so good. Oh, just run them over. Berserking Centaurs. They are so pissed. What is this? Oh, a Bane? Okay. 
My goodness, kill, it's just a bane. Go kill it. Chase a moose! Yes! Get the hell out of here! Oh, one of our units must have had decay on them, because a lot of turns just happened there. Undefended province of Black Peaks was conquered. Fifty hours of dying against birds? Oh, that's cold. Do you think I'll be playing multiplayer? Probably not. I don't like multiplayer dominions. And if I do, it's usually just with me and a few of my friends. But I don't I don't record those. What up, Guru? If you don't wait, wait, if you don't tell us, we don't know how big a, of a problem is your Dominion's obsession. Obsession is a strong word. I'm just devoted to good video games, Shay. Jesus. Go get him, satyrs. Are these the ones that also have a hoof attack? No, okay, so the Revelers, the Seder Revelers have the hoof attack. I should have recruited those. Shoot. Because those just sound cool. They stab you with a spear and then they jump kick in the face. Because that's how Satyrs roll. You remember when I did a multiplayer with Marcus Aurelius? Yeah, no, that was fun. We did a 1v1. I believe he won that game. But yeah, that was, that was a fun game. Units have aged. Well, shit happens, I guess. All right, Ginger Wolfie, let's move over there. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Holy crap. Um, okay, remember about heading over here? Let's cancel that. Holy shit. Maybe we should now awaken Vine Ogres. I kind of want to summon all these. Swamp Drake. Is a huge and spined beast able to breathe toxic gas like a dragon? That could get bad if it's in if it's behind our soldiers. That's the problem with those breath weapons. If you don't have troops that can ignore its damage, then it's kind of rough to play with it. Let's summon the lion. Ah, oh, we're one away from being able to summon an AU gear. Well, I guess we can research. And you can preach? Yeah, we have only a one dominion here. Yeah, preach. And then let's try and recruit some soldiers here while we can. We'll just grab... I guess these. Yeah, because the revelers, the ones with the hoof attack, they are uh, 14 recruitment points, whereas the normal stator sneaks are 6 recruitment points. But we're going to recruit these. While we can. We're going to set this person up with a similar battle order, in case they get attacks. And... What are we going to do? Oh, we were going to do Ivy stuff. Okay. So now you're wearing that. You have Ivy Lord. Yeah, now it stacks. It says Ivy Lord 2 instead of 1. Cool. Very cool. Uh, what we're going to do is have Rilba here. Forge another one. Jareth is going to go out and search for water sites. Because we don't have the spell yet, do we? No. And we definitely want some water sites to support our water mages here. It's going to take a while, though. Oh, what up, Orange? What up, Boo? Magic side searches, don't forget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so we're moving Ginger. We're going to be moving... Uh, let's rename this person. She's she's pretty powerful, so we'll rename you. Penguin Boulder. 
Bingo Bowl of the Dryad Mother. Congratulations. We're gonna name this one too. Rose. Congratulations. Recruit more Sacred Calf. And... You know what, actually, Rose, we're gonna move you up here. Move there and then move here. We want you on the front line, so if you start summoning Vine Men, we don't have to move them across the map. Okay. Sneak into there. Move into there? Actually, move into here. Push that back again. So they have to retake it. I'm hoping this force goes into the castle, and then we can actually... Hmm. Let's move into the castle. What am I saying? Move in there as well. It's a lot of shades, and we don't really have any priests. Ugh. Oh, dude. Discard the side. Uh... Alfred, you're not even attacking at your full strength right now because you have a fist because you're wearing a damn shield. Hold on. Fist, antlers, and a hoof. What if I give you this shield? You still got fist, antlers, and a hoof. Okay, but now you have... Um... A shield parry of six. So there you go. You're a naked giant minotaur thing with a shield in your hands. Check research. We're grabbing Thaumaturgy still. Bring that up to level 4. And I think we are good. On a scale of 1 to 10, how hard is this game to get into? Um, there is a tutorial series by a friend of mine named Daz. And if you watch that, it's he explains the game really well. Uh, what up, Demon Butter? What up, Arclight? Oh. Oh, this harpy. Okay, so yeah, Russ owns a lot of this stuff. Hello, Mania. Welcome. You're not doing too bad for a Monday? That's good to hear, boo. Dominion minus two. And then Dominion change. Straight up Dominion change here. That army did not attack me. Okay, let's attack her in province. I may want to set up a few of these armies if we can afford it. A few of these sneaking armies. Do I want the revelers? Oh wait, they also berserk. Oh, you know what? They also berserk. Hmm. No, you know, find out. We'll we'll just get the cheapies. But when we have some leeway, I think I may grab the upgrades with the Revelers. Okay, we're going to search for magic sites. Search for magic sites. Rose, we're moving you up here. Moving you up there. Whoa, retreat? What the hell? No, attack closest enemy. Since they withdrew, I think I may actually have you just quickly take this. Why did they move their army away? That is the question. Hmm. We're still getting a bunch of fodder here. Now that we're kind of not under attack, let's try and upgrade that fodder to proper... Uh, we still can't get that many of them, though. How about this? Let's recruit another... Pan? No, let's get another Dryad Mother up here. We're gonna need to free up some money, though. There we go. I think that's enough. 
Yeah. So let's get another Dryad Mother. Uh, we also got the Lion. Alright, so this was five gems. It's a very strong line with okay attack and defensive skills. 18 protection. 31 hit points. Is also slash piercing resistant. Dark vision and undisciplined. Wow, and two attacks. That is one tanky mofo. And Helheim, as far as I know, doesn't use blunt weaponry. They use swords and spears, which are uh, slashing and piercing. So this would resist those that damage on top of his protection. It does require magical leadership, but I think almost all of our people can lean magic uh, beings. That's actually kind of cool. We'll mix the satyrs in with the uh, animals, because they are both undisciplined. So it doesn't really, really matter. The lion is also undisciplined, right? Yeah, I guess we just mix you in there too. Huh. I think I will cast another one of those. In great numbers, those things are going to be kind of nuts. I think. Oh, uh, what up, Puffy? What up, High Necromancer uh, Sar Sarius? Oh yeah, right, Ogres, thank you, yes. Thanks for reminding me. We'll cast some Ogres here as well. We got the Sneaking Forces over there. We got Oberon and Karak and Boomjaw holding the mid. I feel like I need more Minotaurs for Boomjaw, but I don't have any money, <laughs> so you don't get them yet. Um, search, search. Wow, Russ is way down here too. And then there's Satis. So Russ owns all of this. Helheim is getting pushed up against me. Let's go check on Sarmatia. Let's just kind of fly around. I have a feeling I'm going to have to worry more about Russ than I'm going to have to worry about Helheim. Oh, do not sneak. We want you to attack. Okay. All right. Oh, wait. Who's not doing anything? Oh, what am I doing? We should be able to... Let's summon some people over here, too. Yeah. Let's uh, awaken some Vine Ogres. Let's summon some more Horned Serpents. Nope. I keep pressing the wrong button. And... Wait a minute. If I cast Grow Fortress again... Oh, wait. Does that actually upgrade the Fortress? I don't really want to use the gems to find out, but I'm assuming that's how we upgrade a fortress to something better. Or maybe it would just be a waste of gems. Let's call the wild. Summons a werewolf and a large pack of wolves in a distant forest. The werewolf is under the command of its summoner. The spell is most effective when a forest province is targeted. How far can I go? Range of four? Hmm. One, two, three. So... I may do that. If we can sneak our satyr army down here and then pop up there and get the support of werewolves or something, that sounds kind of cool. We're not going to do it now, but in the future. For right now... For right now... Let's do double vine ogres. How about that? Okay. At some point, I'm going to have to move out and kill our enemies. I'm just not quite there yet. 